Nope, I'm a human being. There's a lot of bad thoughts in my head. Tape record yourself. When you wake up and what, um, how old are you? 14. Okay. That's awesome. See, I'm 47, okay? So my girl is with me because she wants to be with the man, okay? She does, and that's a hard, when I got with her, she used to dog the men she was with. So I heard this shit, she got my fucking head, all right? I'm getting to your question. When I wake up, sometimes I feel like a little bitch. But what I do is I have a little tape recorder. And I tape record exactly how I'm feeling on that motherfucker. And then I play it back. That's a bad fucking tape recorder, dude. And I think about if I play this to my girl, will she sleep with me tonight? <laughs> she ain't. So I get the fuck up. The bullet story is tape record yourself in those bad moments. Listen to yourself. Listen how weak and pathetic it sounds. That will not make you a winner or succeed at anything. You have to fight those urges to just say, I'm good today. And if you tape record yourself and you play that for one of your friends, will that get them off the couch or will that make them want to fucking sit on there longer? So everything you say to yourself has to be something that energizes you to the core of your soul. So whenever that weak voice comes, you gotta smack it real quick, as fast as you can, because that weak voice is taking the path of least resistance. And none of us wanna work that hard, even me. So just remember that, man. Thank right now today, it's not a nice place, but I'm very prepared for it. Yeah, you are. I'm prepared <laughs> for it. I'm prepared for all the failure coming my way. I'm prepared for everything my way. And that's the biggest lesson that she taught me by not teaching me, mm. by never saying it's going to be OK. Yeah. Matter of fact, she told me the exact opposite. Life sucks. That's what she knew. And it was the truth. That was her reality. That was her reality. Yeah. And so I saw that. And so I started at that point in my life. I have a lot more failures, as you see in that book. But I started down the road of instead of the path of, you know, least resistance, I started choosing the path of most resistance to prepare myself for the journey that was coming my way. Wow. And most kids don't prepare themselves for the most resistance. No. They want to get out of things. They want to get out of things. Get off the hook. Right. Put in the extra reps. Right. They want the easiest path to get to.